Ah, here's the cart now. Do you intend to join us? Very well. Board the ox cart and we'll be off. That ladder looks promising, but we'll have to drop it down from above. Well worth the effort of breaking it. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, old wager. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? Ox carts make for relatively safer travel. They can be most convenient, though they only travel during the day. I'll harvest what I can, should it please you. As a matter of fact, every master I've ever served has favoured different tactics. One party I joined consisted only of ranged specialists. You've given me much to think about.
goblins! What rotten luck! We've need of your aid again, sir. Seems we drove them off. You've my thanks for aiding us. Vernworth isn't far from here. Will you join us the rest of the way? All right. Into the ox cart, then. I was informed of your coming would be arisen. Captain Brandt, this individual summoned a pawn through a rift stone. Several witnesses can attest to it. Though I admit I had my doubts at first, it would seem this is no mere deceiver. This one's not a bad sort. Saved our hides on the way here. As decreed by the great will of our world, there can only be one arisen. That Arisen now resides within the palace. Indeed, he is our sovereign and the rightful ruler of Vermont. It follows, therefore, that this ruffian before us is naught but a pretender. You must submit to questioning. If you value your life, you will not attempt to flee. I shall conduct the interrogation myself. Stand watch outside. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, Your Majesty. If the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I fear your life would have been in peril. I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. Then you have truly lost your memory? In that case, mayhap I ought to explain the situation before we proceed. You, and no other, are the sovereign, the only legitimate ruler of this kingdom. Some days passed, you confronted the dragon in the village of Melv, whereupon you became arisen. The people rejoiced, for our true liege had finally appeared, and in Vermont's long years of council rule, yet not all celebrated your coming. Your arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Deesa of everything. During the time of the previous consul, she acted as a queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. And just after the consul's passing, when twas all but certain that her son would take his father's place, word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To Deesa, your Majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. Thus, 
Deesa chose to abduct your majesty while you recovered from your wounds. In order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you to Batal as a slave. Following that, she prepared a replacement to serve as the sovereign in your stead. A mere puppet. However, with your majesty returned, I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs as Deesa plays her games. I shall devise some plans to further our cause. Pray, visit me a night in a tavern that we might discuss them. This one's cleared of all suspicion and has my permission to remain in the capital. You are to trouble the good sir no further. Are we clear? Do not forget that we work to serve the citizens. for us are assigned the oh, to stick to boards off train. I cannot afford a moment's caution. Pray forgive me, I'm in a bit of a hurry. <laughs> Consarn it! Get back here! see an urchin in a cap run past just now. Can you tell me which way he went? Many thanks. I'll catch that wretch yet. You're a kind one, aren't you? Twould seem I am in your debt. In fact, there's aught I would ask of you if you've the time to spare. Aha! There you are! Oh, apologies, but our chat will have to wait. Till next we meet. Farewell. For a mighty pity. Certainly, Master. Well met, sir. Forgive my presumption, but were you the one who gave my granddaughter that medicine in Melv? I thought so. <laughs> She's not stopped talking of her adventure since she arrived home. You have my sincerest thanks for aiding her. That girl's always running off on some fool's errand or other, for all my chiding. Once she gets an idea under her bonnet, there's simply no talking her out of it. Now listen, tisn't much, but I'd fain offer you a discount on my wares. Pray, make good use of it, won't you? Nice to see you again. Welcome and well met. Don't think I've forgotten your discount now. I'll knock a few gold pieces off or to you buy. So spend away, my good sir. Do come again. I'm ready for tomorrow. Say, have you been to Harp? Tis a quaint little village down by the sea. Well, if you do visit, you might want to give the old man who lives there a wide berth. I hear he sets out to sea on his boat day after day, only to be returned to shore by the brine again and again. As if that wasn't queer enough, he's apt to talk your ear off about some world he believes lies beyond the sea. I cannot fathom his obsession. I suppose losing his family must have driven him to madness. Greetings. Welcome to the Guild Hall. Here we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocations. If there is aught I may assist you with, simply say the word. Forgive me but I'm afraid we are not accepting registration for warriors or sorcerers at this time. You see, as we currently have no archer staves or great swords on hand, we are unable to outfit new members. And we cannot simply purchase more, as the delivery of arms intended for the local armory and other guilds in this domain was plundered by goblins. So regrettably, I cannot assist you, unless you were to procure a weapon yourself, that is. Let me see. What else can I tell you of our guild? Certain vocations are unavailable at present, save to applicants who already possess the requisite equipment. Let me see. What else can I tell you of our guild? 
Methinks Roderick will be able to tell you aught of the stolen shipment. He runs the local armory, and we purchase almost all of our stock from him. May fortune smile upon you, sir. Well met. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hospitality in all Vernworth. We must rest. Though the sun is still up. Well met, sir. The sun may have fallen. Then, but the day is far from over. Step lively. Journey by starlight shall make for a nice change of pace. Feeling rested, I trust. Who are you there? Your presence is requested at the tavern this evening. Might as well take a look while you're here, eh? Stop by again soon. Your Majesty, your timing is impeccable. I just thought to call for you. Tis not a matter for prying ears. Pray, let us speak out here. Well met. As I informed you when last we spoke, the palace is filled with the Queen Regent's sycophants. Should Deesa denounce your majesty as a false arisen, few would elect to doubt her. Yet if we are to prove your identity, I believe there is no occasion more suitable than the coronation. It was delayed so that the sovereign, that is, the false arisen, could convalesce in the palace, but the date has now been set. The central players in the court ought all be in attendance. It would be a fine opportunity to display your majesty's power. None would be able to deny that you are the true arisen then. There is a problem, however. Entry to such an event is limited to the chosen few. Only select members of the nobility and citizens who have contributed greatly to Vermont's continued prosperity will be granted entry. If your majesty is to be counted among them, you will need to attend to a number of tasks. Pray, allow me to summarize them for you. The citizenry have called upon my soldiers to cull monsters that... What say you? Might I ask... I thank you, your majesty. There are three... The first is Trevo Mine, to the northwest. We've had reports of goblins swarming in great numbers. Next is Half Village, west of Burnworth. I believe soldiers have already been dispatched to call an infestation of Saurians there. Finally, there is a call for someone to locate a group of soldiers tasked with delivering freight. They were last seen crossing the second bridge on the eastern edge of Vermont. 